Tonight on New Center, the Campus Activities Board hosts a Family Feud game show. Delta Zeta shows off their cooking skills. And New Center speaks with students about their student debt. All of this and more tonight on New Center. Good evening and welcome to News Center. I'm Jacelyn Hall. And I'm Logan Rout. Here's what's making headlines for November 21st, 2019. President Trump has reportedly backed off his initial push against banning flavored e-cigarettes. The New York Times reported that he changed his mind after his political advisors warned him of the political repercussions. While he is not pushing as hard as usual, Trump has still set up meetings with vaping companies to discuss the health facts of vaping versus smoking. Senator Rand Paul weighed in the, on the issue, saying he thinks vaping has saved thousands of lives by keeping people from smoking. Board State's media faculty member Stephen Middleton is being featured in Kentucky City Magazine. After a road trip with his band, Middleton was inspired to create his documentary, The Show Stars at Dark. The story of the movie, the story of the drive-in movie theater is still open in Kentucky. Milton interviewed moviegoers and theater owners to explore the success of this old-time medium in the Commonwealth. The documentary will air on KET in late December through January. Police arrested a father and son for illegally hunting deer on the University of Houston's campus. Police identified the hunters as 39-year-old Shane Strickland and his 18-year-old son, Reed Strickland. Officers spotted the two men after they killed a deer with a crossbow. The university, which is off limits to hunters, holds 9,000 students and is home to various wildlife. Shane and Reed Strickland were released from jail on a $1,000 personal bond. Reed Strickland talked to a Houston KTRK reporter apologizing for his actions. Campus police reported that the deer hunters had no affiliation with the college and that no one was harmed. This week, New Center talked to some students around Breckenridge Hall about student debt how they plan to pay it off, and what advice they have for other students. Yeah, personally, I had to take out loans to go to school, so that's something that I'll be dealing with as soon as I graduate this spring. I personally do not have student debt, thankfully. Uh, I've played my cards pretty close to my chest. Uh, I have friends that are pretty heavy in debt, though, yes. Mm, yes, I do take out a couple loans each semester, so yeah, I do have a little bit of student debt. Yes, me and my roommate both have student debts. And uh, we're really trying our best to do good in school, so it's like it's not a waste of time or a waste of money. Uh, yeah, so whenever I came to college, um, I started taking out loans to pay for it um, because I obviously didn't have $4,500 to pay for college. So I had to take out loans, so now I am in debt with all those loans I have. Like I did the Sally Mae loan. So, and plus I take out extra money for a refund check so I can pay my rent and, you know, do groceries for the semester. The most recent one I can think of is that I have a friend who recently took a class with a certain professor and he just felt that his time and money were wasted and he can't get that money back. It's just what's done is done and he's more in debt now and didn't get anything out of it. Yeah, um, I'm hoping to just pay it off over time. That's my plan right now. <laughs> It kind of does stress me out because I don't really have much of a plan for after when I get out of college to pay for that student debt. We're trying to have summer jobs every, every summer just to be able to pay it off whenever we graduate after six months. But for a lot of people, finding work is really hard, so I feel like you shouldn't have to start paying on your loans until you actually find a job. So whether that's six months down the road or a year down the road, I feel like it should only start whenever you are in a good financial area. I think scholarships are a big help if you can get them. Um, I think that people can make choices about where they go to college with that in mind. Um, you know, I know a lot of people that went off to a college like far away, a big college just for the experience of it, and then came back after a year to go to a community college because that was the better fit, and yet they still have the student debt from when they were away. So just to make decisions with that in mind to try and minimize it as much as possible. Scholarships. Scholarships, for sure, is the big one. And getting a job is like just start saving money and putting it away in case you have to get in debt for whatever reason. But if, if you're talking like a high schooler before going into college, scholarships, that's what saved me. 
just make sure you're aware of what's to come after you take out loans and you know when to pay it back and you talk to somebody first about it and maybe talk to either a parent or like a financial counselor about what you need to do with your money and go from there. So. Now let's check in with Jason Hall for a preview of this week's weather. Well hey Logan. Um, this week's weather is a lot better than last week's um, considering we had snow. Um, it's up in the 50s and some through the 60s this week. It's very odd considering what happened the past couple weeks. Yeah, but it's good for Thanksgiving. Yeah. What are your plans? I'm going to try to take it easy, not think about college at all until I have to. Really? Well, I have four Thanksgiving dinners to go to. Ooh. Yeah, lots of food, so yeah. it's exciting. Well. Thanks, Jacelyn. When we get back, we'll, we will talk with Convergent Media student Matt Wilson about a new program coming to MSU TV in the spring. It never gets old, huh? Nope. It kind of makes you want to... Break into song? Yup. I love the sunset. I love Eagle Lake. I love the forest. I love when eagles play. I love the campus! And all its sights and sounds. boom dee da boom dee da boom dee da boom dee da I love philosophy. We love diversity. I love English. And all its weird words. I love the music. And all its melodies. Boom diada, boom diada. Boom diada, boom diada. I love fraternities. I love sororities. I love to draw things. And all the athletes. I love more heads. It's such a pretty place. Boom diada, boom diada, boom diada, boom diada, boom diada, boom diada. Connecting you with employers and graduate program. Get info to launch your career now. Turning you into a professional. Focus on professional development. Start your job or internship now. Let career services help you separate yourself from the crowd. Develop into an expert candidate. Career services is here to help. Build a network. Hands-on workshop. Career services. Turning you into a professional. Welcome back. I'm here with Matt Wilson. Matt, it's really good to have you here. Thanks. Pleasure being here, man. Uh, so rumor has it that you, along with a few other Convergent Media students, will be introducing a sports-themed program here on MSU TV. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, of course. So um, last semester, whenever I came here, I realized that we just weren't doing anything in that kind of department. Like, we didn't have any <laughs> sports shows for like the past five years and so I got the bright idea of uh, actually wanting to do a sports show. I'm kind of getting some people that I'm familiar with and I know that are passionate about sports as much as I am. So um, we went to our faculty advisor with the idea and we got green lighted instantly. So um, we are really passionate about sports and we just want to um, convey that to the audience. And you know the concept is kind of taken from uh, the higher-ups like ESPN and Fox Sports like that. And so uh, we're really excited about it. So what made you decide to produce a show on sports? So I have always been very passionate about sports, whether it, playing it or watching it. I've always followed it religiously um, with my favorite teams and such. So um, doing this, getting to talk about sports and producing it as well, it's just I'm very passionate about it. Um, yeah, just doing it is what I really came here to do. It's what I fantasize about all the time. So uh, being able to do it uh, with an actual crew, with actual set and everything, it uh, really makes me happy and I'm really excited to do it. So since this will be a practicum opportunity for CVM students, what are you looking for in terms of the members? 
So obviously we're going to need people on air. That's, uh, that's the main thing. But we're also going to need people behind scenes, whether that be uh, camera operators, uh, directors, um, stuff like that. But um, yeah, if anybody wants to try and get on the show, um, they can either contact me. I'm always at Studio A working with New Center and other practicums like that. And also they can contact our faculty advisor as well, who is over MSU TV as a whole. Well, sounds great, Matt. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you. We'll be right back with your weather update. What are your strengths, weaknesses, any prior work experience? Uh, strengths, I'm really desperate to need this job. My weaknesses, I don't really have any that I know, but I've been told I'm an excellent juggler. He should have gone to the suit bank. Career Services, now located on the ground floor of the library, has free professional attire available in the suit bank. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 till 4.30. Stop by and get the right attire to ace your next interview. Hope to see you soon. Hi, I'm Jason Hall, and here's what's happening in Moorhead. Um, the current conditions are 56. It's cloudy. Um, the humidity is 50%, and the winds are at 6 miles per hour. In Paducah, it is 41. Bowling Green is high with um, 63. Louisville is 45. Frankfurt is 46. Lexington is 48. London is 49. Moorhead is 56, and Ashland is 49. Tonight's forecast, there will be a few clouds. Um, the low is 48. It is 5% precipitation, and the sunset will be at 516. Tomorrow's forecast will be cloudy with rain. The high will be 52, and the sunrise will be at 721. Um, here's your seven-day forecast. Um, for Thursday today, it is 56, cloudy with some rain. Um, the low is 49 tonight. Tomorrow, it will be 52, cloudy with some rain again, and the low will be 36. Saturday will be 53, cloudy with rain. There will be a 90% chance, and the low will be 37. Sunday will be 47. Sunshine with clouds. Monday will be 55 partly with partly cloudy skies. Tuesday, it's getting a lot warmer. It'll be 59 and cloudy. And Wednesday is sunny with clouds. That's all for the weather, and let's go to Bryce with sports. Welcome to New Center Sports. I'm Bryce Patrick. Despite another 100-yard rushing effort from junior Isaiah Aguero, this, the Eagles couldn't keep up with host San Diego Saturday, falling 52-20. to 20. 
Aguero moved his season rushing total to more than 800 with a 111-yard performance against the Toreros. The Eagles slipped to 5-6 but can still finish with a 6-win season as they host Stetson the next Saturday at 1 p.m. in the season finale. Men, Moorhead State men's basketball utilized balanced scoring and hard-nosed defense presence to set back Maryland Eastern Shore 76-53 Saturday night at Johnson Arena. The Eagles advanced to 4-0 for the first time since 1980. The Eagles took a 46-25 lead into the halftime intermission, leading by 31 late in the second half. Junior forward James Barker led the Eagles with a 14-point connecting on 7-3, 7-13 from the field. Moorhead State begins a four-game road trip next week in the Hall of Game Classic. All-Pro NFL defense lineman, Miles Garrett has been suspended indefinitely following the, an incident that occurred during the Browns' most recent game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Near the end of the fourth quarter, Garrett rushed and sacked quarterback Mason Rudolph. However, Garrett and Rudolph continued to wrestle while on the ground. Garrett stood up while ripping Rudolph's hel helmet off and proceeded to swing the helmet at Rudolph's head. Garrett was ejected from the game and now faces serious penalties from the NFL. Some fans even called for him to be banned from the league. Garrett has since stated his apology and is looking forward to trying to right his wrongs. The Moorhead State women's basketball team was in action last Friday at Johnson Arena. New center's Harvey Rice was there. Despite a defensive effort that caused 34 turnovers and produced 13 steals, the Moorhead State women's basketball team fell to Stetson 58-55 in the opening game of the Eagle Invitational at Johnson Arena on Friday evening. The loss, which drops the Eagles to 0-2 overall for the 2019-2020 season, was not taken without a comeback effort from the hosts. which held the haters without a field goal made during the final three minutes of the game and erased a seven-point deficit with under two minutes remaining. Moria State will play its second of three games in five days on Sunday at 1 p.m. with a meeting against St. Francis during their 2018 2019 campaign, the Eagles fell to the Red Flashes in an 89-83 shootout at Delgo Arena. For News Center, I'm Harvey Rice. Stay tuned for more news after the break. We don't care where you are from. We support you. We need you. We love you. In Morehead State University, we major in diversity. We need you. We love you. MSU is art. MSU is potential. MSU is much more. 
Are you interested in becoming a service dog sitter or handler? Four Paws for Ability at MSU allows members to get involved with the Service Dog Association. During your membership, you could help future service dogs get used to a public setting and get accustomed to staying on the clock in a home environment. For more information, follow MSU Four Paws or email msusda at outlook.com. Members of the Delta Zeta sorority had a food event at the Methodist Student Center Tuesday night. Stephen Banks was there to try out all the tasty recipes. On Tuesday evening, the Delta Zeta sorority members hosted a mac and cheese event where people eat and vote on which is the best mac and cheese recipe. New Delta Zeta leader Abigail Gunter says she didn't expect that so many people wanted to join the cook-off, let alone actually being involved in it. Well, I'm a new member of Delta Zeta, and each year Delta Zeta new members come up with a philanthropy. Um, and so this year, I was very blessed to come and do the philanthropy chair. So I decided, with um, the help of my fellow new members, to come up with a best idea that would be very um, nice for everyone to join and not just specific people. And we have never done a mac and cheese cook-off, and so it's getting really chilly outside, and I just thought mac and cheese would be a perfect call and dish for everyone to enjoy. Gunter says she is saving the money that was earned from the event and putting it towards a good cause. Actually, going to the Painted Turtle Camp, which is a camp for um, the children with disabled abilities. And so um, this year, instead of the cook-off, um, we usually have like a kickball tournament and that money goes to that. Instead, we were not able to do the kickoff um, event. So this, the money that from the mac and cheese is going to go to the Painted Turtle Camp this year. Becky Martin, another Delta Zeta member, says that these kind of events are annual, but the mac and cheese was new. Yes, actually we normally do a, um, a cake ball tournament in the fall and due to like weather and just because how like it's been so busy this semester, um, we've actually just kind of put the mac and cheese event over top of it. Um, every fall the new member class that we get, they have their own philanthropy event and this year they chose to do the mac and cheese cook-off. When I was a freshman, we did a cornhole tournament, but this year's class chose to do mac and cheese, so we've had a lot of fun. Reporting for News Center, I'm Stephen Banks. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell called for Matt Jones to stop hosting his Kentucky sports radio show. McConnell says Jones was using the show to gain support for a potential run for the Democratic nomination. This led to a ton of pushback from Matt Jones' supporters against McConnell. A day after the complaint was filed by McConnell, followers of Jones took to Twitter to voice their support for him. They started a trend on Twitter with the hashtag FreeMattJones being their main slogan. Supporters have also produced t-shirts which have made a large amount of sales. Whether Jones decides to run, there has been a strong amount of support for the local radio host. A fatal car crash in Estill County has left one person dead Wednesday morning. Emergency officials responded to the scene of the deadly car crash after a 911 call. The crash happened around 7 a.m. along Spout Springs Road near Kentucky Highway 82. The crash was head-on and forced officials to close the lanes in order to clean the debris and take care of those affected. No other injuries have been reported at this time. MSU Campus Activity Board hosted Family Feud last Tuesday. Sarah Fashipe was there. Today's activity is the Family Feud. Um, you will have students compete in the classic Family Feud show. Uh, uh, it will be Steve Harvey today and just answering regular Family Feud questions. I just wanted to uh, bring an event that was entertaining. We've done it a couple years. Um, I started doing it last year and I've had a couple of events and everybody seemed to really like it, so I just thought I'd do it again. Yeah, I enjoyed this activity. I came here with my with my rifle team and it was a good team bonding experience and it was a lot of fun. Well, the goal was to win and that didn't happen, but it's fine. It was still fun and it was a good team bonding experience. For the rest of the semester, we have a uh, Deck the Residence Halls event, which is my event. Um, I'm encouraging students that live in the residence halls to decorate their dorm rooms or their dorm uh, doors and send in their pictures to the Campus Activities Board email and we'll judge them and we'll put the top five on this uh, Twitter uh, for a social media vote for the winner. For a new center, I'm Sarah Fashibwe.
news after the break. Taking place at the Claypool Young Art Building, Warren State University's Department of Art and Design is home to a number of programs and classes. You can take courses in painting, drawing, graphic design, history, photography, and more. You can even obtain a degree in art education or a Bachelor of Fine Arts. To find out more about the Department of Art and Design, you can call 606-783-2766 or email arde at moreheadstate.edu. For students pursuing a career in the medical health field, come check out the new MSU SHARE Building. The SHARE Building is located right below St. Clair Hospital on Fleming Avenue. This building will offer students the chance to further their understanding of medical health and prepare them for a future with state-of-the-art hands-on classes. Connecting you with employers and graduate program. Get info to launch your career now. Turning you into a professional. Focus on professional development. Start your job or internship now. Let career services help you separate yourself from the crowd. Develop into an expert candidate. Career services is here to help. Build a network. Hands-on workshop. Career services. Turning you into a professional. The fights breaking out within Montgomery County. Schools have been floating around. Many social media posts by students have claimed there have been far too many fights in the school. The school superintendent, Matthew Thompson, took to Facebook to clear the air on the rumors, saying the rumors and social media posts about the fights have been exaggerated. He goes on to say that there have been far fewer accidents than what has been reported, and the situations that have occurred were handled appropriately. Thompson wanted to remind everyone that Montgomery schools are committed to the safety of their staff and students and will continue to handle situations with caution and diligence. Four years after retiring from what was supposed to be their last tour, Motley Crue is reuniting and their social media accounts are blowing up. The band members of Motley Crue signed a cessation touring agreement six years ago for 2014 and 2015 to be their final years. Motley Crue cut off the contract because of lifelong fans, also known as crew heads, demanding the band tour again. According to Rolling Stone magazine, Motley Crue plans on doing a U.S. stadium tour with Def Leppard and Poison this coming year. The tour dates and venues have not yet been released. It's that time of year again as many prepare for the holiday season. Lexington City workers have begun decorating the big tree in Triangle Park. The 35-foot tree was donated to the city by Lisa Moore. Workers have already spent hours placing decorations, ornaments, and lights all along the tree, which will be lit up during the Christmas tree lighting festival. The tree usually requires eight workers to place the decorations, which includes 4,500 light bulbs and more than 100 giant ornaments. That's all the news we have for this semester. Have a great Thanksgiving and Christmas break.